guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm so excited to be filming because I am filming a humongous mango haul. I will leave everything that is still available linked below in case you wanted to shop any of it yourself. And if you are new to this channel and you're joining me for the first time, hello, welcome. My name is Freya. I upload twice, if not three times a week, all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle related. So if you haven't subscribed, it would mean a lot if you did. And the most important thing is to hit that notification bell. So not only am I so excited to be filming this haul for you guys, I'm also very, very thankful that I have a sponsor for today's video. Today's sponsor is James Reed. It's a tanning company. I'm sure you guys have heard it before. I've used it several times over the last probably three years I'd say. So before we get into the haul make sure A you've got yourselves a drink, snacks. I'm just opting for sparkling water today because it is hot hence the linen dress. This is from Primark by the way and this kind of colour scheme you'll be seeing a lot throughout this haul. So stay tuned for that. So make sure you're comfy and before we get into the mango haul, I'm gonna jump straight in to share with you my favorite James Reed products. All of these products are available at jamesreedtan.com and I have very kindly been gifted a discount code for you guys, which is JRT and then an X and Freya. I'll leave it linked below and also links to all of these products so you can click through the direct link onto their website but don't forget to use that discount code. So first of all is going to be my trusty fave, one that I have loved and used quite a lot in the past. It is the self tan foolproof bronzing mousse for face and body. I personally prefer using a mousse for my body. If you're wanting that two in one for face and body, then this is a great one to use. However, I do only use this one on my body. The way that I'll do it is I'll either apply it in the morning and leave it to dry and do its thing over around six to eight hours before rinsing it off or I'll sleep in it. So one of the two, I prefer to do it, if I'm working from home, I'll do it in the morning and then just wear like a really light dress throughout the day and then rinse off that night. The second product that I wanted to share with you are the Gradual Tan H2O Tan Drops for your face. I always rave about face tan drops. I find them really easy to use. And also I find that they give you that sun-kissed, healthy, glowing complexion that also makes your makeup go on really nice and easily. And I actually have a couple of different foundations. And one in particular that I love is a shade for when I am tanned. So in order to be tanned all the time, because I know we're not blessed with the sunshine all the time here in the UK, I do like to use these all year round. And I'll just put a couple of drops into my regular face moisturizer, mix it all together in the palm of your hands and just kind of dab it on your face. And I also don't go too close to the hairline as well. And I do also blend it all the way down my neck. I like to use these over the body mousse on my face. I just find I'm less likely to break out. These are specifically designed for your face. So for that reason, they're a winner for me. Kind of in line with that product is this. And this was fairly new to me. I've been trying it out over a couple of days now and I do really like it so I'm going to continue using this and update you guys over on my Instagram on how I go but this is the gradual tan h2o tan mist for your face and the way that I've liked to use this is of course on my face you can use it before makeup you can use it without makeup you can use it on top of makeup which is what I'm going to show you right now and I'll just from a distance spritz it lightly over my face and I do like to just cover the top of my hair so I don't get any residue in my parting area. It feels so good, so refreshing, it smells really nice as well. And another way that I use this, I know it doesn't say it on the bottle, but I actually will use this on the backs of my hands and also on the tops of my feet because when I'm using this body mousse, I will avoid those areas. And then this is a great product to just lightly mist over like the back of your hands to make sure you've still got tanned hands because you don't want pasty white hands and then really tanned arms. And then the last product that I want to show you, at first I was like, nah, it's all right, it's a nice palette, it looks nice, it's pretty, it's called the Tan Tour. And when I realized what this actually does, my mind was blown. I could not wait to try it and I'm gonna demo it here for you guys right now, just on top of my makeup, just to show you how the product kind of applies. So it's got a nice big mirror, which I'm not gonna show you because you'll just see a reflection of the camera. And then there's a nice big generous size of 
a contour colour here and then over this side we have a highlight. So I'm going to take the brush that it comes with, this is a little James Reed makeup brush and this I'm just going to dust lightly in the contour shade, tap off any excess and then as I would a bronzer naturally just fill it in where I would ordinarily contour and what this does is it has built into it, I don't know how the technology works, I'm not going to go all scientific on you because I'm not a scientist, but it works gradually over several days to develop a natural contour. So if you're putting this on, for instance, without makeup and just on a regular basis, maybe on holiday, then what it does is it builds up like a natural tan where you're putting it hence a natural contour which I think is genius and obviously the highlight works well with it. So this actually is probably my favourite new in product that I've been trying from James Reed. I was so excited to give it a try. I am going to continue to use this on a daily basis. I think they recommend around three to five days of using it in order to be able to notice the difference. So amazing. So glad I could be sharing these products with you guys and now without further ado I'm going to get onto this haul because I have a lot to get through. <laughs> a lot. My bank balance isn't happy with that but I am so win-win. No maybe not. I don't know. Let's get into it. As always with my hauls I am going to be doing this in no particular order in more of an unboxing style so I'm just going to head straight on in, not categorise this by any means and just pull things out as I go. The first item I wanted to show you, I think my friend Lydia has this. I'm pretty sure this is the one she has. It's a basic lightweight knit jumper. Very, very simple and this is going to be a staple. I wanted to pick this up purely for the fact that I don't really have anything like it. It's kind of what I would say an oatmeal shade is. You might be able to see the different flecks of colour running throughout it. And this is in a size medium. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it for the next coming months because it's pretty hot and we're actually doing a heat wave here. Here. so this is going to be an all year rounder to have out as an option but one that I'm obviously going to get loads of wear out of in this country because let's face it we have more colder months than we do warmer months. Let's head on in with this next item which is an accessory, well shoes, shoes are they classed as accessories? I don't know. Now I don't know how comfortable these are going to be on me and I have a funny feeling these are going to go straight back. They feel quite stiff which at the back here, if that rubs, it's just a no-go for me. They're going to go straight back because I cannot stand anything that rubs my feet. The idea of these, I loved, but actually seeing these in person, they don't look generous in sizing and they do feel... I mean, they've got a bit of give, but we'll see. Windows are coming open because I cannot... I feel like I'm having a hot flush. It's that hot. So if you hear any background noise, just... Okay, let's go in with a colourful item, shall we? Like I said, I'm incorporating a little more colour. Little more colour. We all know that I'm a big fan of the neutrals. Always will be, always have been. It's just my style and who I am. But I'm enjoying the lemony yellow kind of shades. And these are going to clash majorly with this. But... I have picked up quite a lot of lemon kind of tones within this haul and also you'll be able to see with the tan that I have on my body, the James Reed tan. I do like to have quite a deep tan when I do wear yellows because I find them more flattering. I picked up these jeans, they are straight leg in a size 38, so a size UK 10 and they are this gorgeous lemon shade with silver hardware. Just a simple straight jean. I have two of the same item here, one in a medium, one in a small. I always thought this M was for mango until I got these and I was like, ah, M is for medium, S is for small. So they are cycling shorts. The only thing I have to say with these, as much as I love this fabric and this material, is that they're a little sheer. I can see the label through them, which is annoying because ideally I kind of wanted to wear these maybe like with a little crop top or like crop tee. Nude thong is pretty much the only option you can wear with these. 
and you can cut that out. And these are exactly the same, I'll get them out to show you, but in white. And actually those ones are quite yellow, as opposed to like more of a lemony tone. But these are the white ivory kind of shade, and these I love so, so much, and I think I'm probably gonna end up keeping these ones over the lemon ones. I'm probably gonna get more use out of these, and I probably will wear these around about the house with just like a long t-shirt on. I'm a big fan of doing that at the minute. When it's hot like this, obviously colder months, it's usually joggers and a tee or jumper, but for around the house, working from home, I'm quite enjoying the cycling shorts with a t-shirt. I'm gonna go into this one because I'm so excited to see what these look like. They are a pair of earrings, the only pair of, or the item of jewelry that I picked up, I think, I'm pretty sure. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, I love them. Okay, so they are like a gold and resin with like a pearl bottom. How pretty are they? I feel like for the full effect, you need to get them out of the packaging to be able to see what they're gonna look like. I love that clear resin so much. I love the like minimal, simple design of these. Okay, let's move on to the next item, shall we? I feel like it's Christmas. So these, I remember what these are, because they're the only sort of like chocolatey brown item I picked up, and they are a pair of shorts. Pick these up in a medium, although they do look quite short. I thought these were gonna be like more high-waisted and a little bit longer as well, but if you prefer the shorter short, then these are really nice. At the minute, I'm tending to opt for a longer short, like the Bermuda style shorts, I'm just a big fan of them. I knew that I was gonna be working with James Reed on this video, and I thought, why not experiment with the tan and see how it works with different prints and bold patterns and obviously colours. Hence the amount of lemon that I'm about to show you and yellows. But I also picked up this kind of botanical print jumpsuit, which feels really nice actually. It's a kind of wide leg, really floaty, perfect for holiday kind of a jumpsuit. And the buckle detail on it is what kind of sold me to it. I really like this, it's quite thick and heavy, so really good quality. In a medium I picked this up, and I'm really impressed with this. It's not as garish as what I thought it was gonna be, so actually, actually I'm a fan. This is another one that I saw on the website and loved. As soon as I saw this, this was actually the first kind of yellowy lemon colour that went in my basket. However, it's going to clash majorly with this dress that I'm wearing right now. Let me try and show you just this colour. So it's kind of greeny yellow, which... Hmm... It's almost neon. Pick this up in a medium. It's part of the Mango Casual, and it has a little button detail at the back with a keyhole cut out, and it's a nice midi, floaty, loose and comfortable, little slit detail, just a really nice, comfortable piece. So this is one that I love. It's part of the Mango Suit range, so I guess work appropriate, but obviously, I don't work in an office and I would wear this on like a day-to-day -day basis. I picked it up in a medium. It's very much my Moroccan Marrakesh kind of vibes that I always go on about. These kind of tones, these ecrus, creams, beiges are just my entire wardrobe, if you could see it here to the left. I love the length of this dress as well. It's a nice midaxi length. It has a nice little ruching at the back with a tie waist detail. I quite like the floaty sleeves as well. Sometimes you do want your shoulders covered depending on, I guess if it's work appropriate, sometimes it's better to have your shoulders covered. So it's just a very pretty, simple, basic item that is a full outfit in one and Looks lovely, I really, really like this one. Okay, the last item in this first bag, we still have one more to go, is again another yellow kind of shade, and this I'm so excited for. It is a satin skirt. I recently picked one up from Boohoo, you may have seen in my latest Boohoo haul, or did I feature it in a vlog, I can't remember. But I picked up a lemon kind of coloured satin skirt, and I found it to be quite Staticky. Instead, I've opted for this one. It obviously needs an iron. Again, this kind of has that lime neon kind of undertone to it, which is, I know it's very in right now, but it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I, I want to try it. I want to push myself a little bit more. This is a medium, and I'll be honest, it looks a bit too big for me. 
yeah, I think that might be a bit too big for me. Because I wanted this part to be on my waist. And I feel like that's going to drop down a little bit. It's kind of short midi length actually. It's not too long. I'm thinking this with a basic white tee. Or maybe like a little Bardo style milkmaid. Pretty white top with uh, maybe some trainers. I feel like it's a trend piece this one. So it's not going to be for everyone. And don't worry guys. I'm not all of a sudden going full blown colour. I'm still going to be a neutral queen at heart. But every once in a while, I want to push myself out of my comfort zone. And I feel like I said earlier, with a tan, this colour just makes your tan pop. And that is one of the main reasons why I got it. I think the first time I tried this lemony kind of shade was with my lounge underwear haul. I had a lemon lace underwear set sent to me. And oh my god, it is beautiful. Doesn't tan make you look a lot slimmer and healthier and... So for that reason, I'm sold on lemon and each time I keep seeing it on Instagram, I'm like saving the picture because I really like it. So we'll see if I'm brave enough to keep this. I want to ponder, decide, see if it definitely fits, maybe opt for a small if not. This I had in mind holiday. I think myself and Tom, maybe his mum, maybe my mum might be going away at some point over Christmas, New Year and my birthday, which is 4th of Jan to South Africa. South Africa. Nothing's booked yet, nothing's confirmed. Me and Tom have been wanting to go to South Africa for a long time. I went when I was younger and I've wanted to go back ever since and Tom's never been. So we are in talks about a potential South Africa trip. Even if it's not this Christmas, we're definitely going to do it at some point. This was a holiday piece in mind. It was from the committed collection which is made with eco-friendly and recycled fabrics and this is kind of like a poncho style dress as you can see very simple poncho style i'm gonna have to see how long this is because i do want to wear this as a dress so it needs to be long enough we'll have to try it on see what i think but let me know what you think i also have bought several items in the past of this towel kind of fabric and yeah, I love it. Something else from the committed collection now, and it is a pair of trousers. Oh my god, these feel amazing. These feel so soft, so luxurious. Oh, I love these. So they're a really wide leg pant. They're thin. Maybe as beach wear would be the only option just because of how thin they are. Or like a longer top maybe with them. These are made from Lyocell and these are in a medium. Okay, this one is actually very similar to something I already own. And you may have seen on my Instagram recently, I wore a pink-ish jumpsuit. So I've tried to link it for you guys several times and they only had large and XL left. So I wanted to try this one. It is slightly different. It's made from a different fabric. It again is from the committed range. This one is 100% organic cotton. In a small, it does have longer sleeves, this one. And also the button detail is hidden buttons. Nice big pockets on the front there. So this is a great alternative to the other one that I have. I probably, ca I can't justify keeping both of these. But you watch, I'm going to try this on, love it, and end up keeping it. Okay, next up I wanted a really, really good, decent pair of linen trousers. And I found these ones, and I don't have anything like them. Absolutely love them. These are linen, and I picked them up in a UK 10. Part of the mango suit range. And they're like a tailored pair of cream linen trousers so they're quite smart linen trousers they have a nice little turn up detail here this so far out of everything i love if these fit and i like them on these are probably going to be a one of those items that you just get so much wear out of yeah really happy with them and a good staple pair of linen trousers that I feel everyone should have. On the flip side, another pair that I got, which are similar, but they're not linen. These are modal. I've never heard of that fabric before. Modal, hmm, interesting. So I got these in a UK 10 as well. Again, nice and high-waisted. These are very similar to some other mango ones I've had. So nice little buckle detail here, double clasp, zip up. And these are much more light, well, not more lightweight than the linen, but like a softer, almost thinner fabric. Love the kind of peachy tone to this. You might be able to see it work well with this kind of colour. If I just show you against white, this is the Tantor palette. 
you can see obviously it's not white they're like a nice creamy peachy kind of color and i love them penultimate item now so well done if you stuck with me this long this is um a from the mango suit range in a medium a nice little blouse beige blouse which is oversized so i don't know why i said little blouse it's not a little blouse it is an oversized blouse this is such a staple this screams staple to me when I get it out it is literally the word staple in a shirt it's just going to be such an easy one that I have nothing like this and I feel like recently I've thought I need more things like this as opposed to wearing a t-shirt with everything all the time I don't have many shirts or blouses one that I feel like will just be in my wardrobe forever nice and long and baggy and oversized could be nice with leggings and boots in autumn and winter time yeah a good staple 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 last but not least i'm very sad that we're on the last item now <laughs> these again are another pair of trousers that i wanted to try they are nice and smart love this fabric and they're nice tailored i mean <laughs> They're probably not the most practical of colours because of the light shade, but like you've just seen with the rest of the haul, that's just what I like, okay? That is just what I like. I love the ruching at the back, nice and comfortable. Tom's picked some up recently actually from, I think they're from Uniqlo, that are like a smart men's obviously, tapered, tailored trouser, but with ruching at the back, which just makes them a little more casual. So you look like you're wearing a smart pair of trousers but actually they're very comfy so i picked these up in a medium and yeah they look really nice i'm just sad that this haul is now over <laughs> do let me know which were your favorite finds and of course don't forget to check out james reed tan links will be left in the description box of all the products that i've mentioned along with my discount code which is jrtx Freya. Let me know how you get on with any of the products yourselves and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys! If they are unavailable, <clears throat> I will try and leave everything linked, uh, I will try and, I will leave everything that, so, I, and I will also leave both of my Instagram pages down, and I will, so not only, so not, so not only am I, <clears throat> and today I am bringing you and today I am working and today I, and today I am sharing and also and also links to these products to and also links to all of these products to and also links to all of these I prefer a mousse I I personally <coughs> with the sun at, with the sunshine. Yeah. How? I want to go back on. That's so weird. I'm having powder every two seconds here because it's so hot. Whew. That would be mad. Just let this cake go past it. But yeah, we'll leave a link to below. But yeah, moving on to the next. But yeah, moving on to the next one. I don't. I just. Um, I just. I just have to be careful. This is something very. Si no, I'm gonna be good. Well. <laughs> will be left in the down I hope I don't have to do this because I've sprayed this a lot just because it feels nice it also smells really good too bit of a blonde blank moment there that's a wrap for